have along with us senior Congress leader and Thiruvananthapuram MP Dr. Shashi Tharoor. Dr. Tharoor, the state government has decided to reintroduce those chapters which has been deleted by the NCRT. Education minister said that after Unum vacations, this will be taught to the students. How do you see it? I actually welcome that. Look, first of all, in our system, the state government has the prerogative to set its own curriculum. And the fact is that if the objective of the state government is to educate children, we don't actually make life better for them by deleting portions of text. The NCERT took the position that as far as they were concerned, it was about making life easier for the children because many had extra work to catch up on after the COVID pandemic. The problem is unfortunate that the deletions seem to follow an unfortunate pattern where certain subjects were favored for deletion and other matters were retained or even expanded. Now we felt Many of us at the time that this was not necessary and that there could have been either a decision made that we'll keep all the textbooks but we won't issue examinations in certain areas to save the children the extra labor or that we will teach everything but we'll give the children a larger choice. For example, say if you have an exam paper with 10 questions and you can answer any five, then the children will not suffer from having had too much material to study. This kind of situation is a far better one. Everything is available to them. And you have a possibility, therefore, of being at least given the entire 360-degree range of what exactly you should be aware of with politics, the freedom struggle, civics, and these areas. Even when it comes to history, in many ways, the understanding of history in different parts of India is very different. Uh, to take an example, if the historical memory that some in the North keep harping on is of Islam coming with the sword, in Kerala, Islam did not come by the sword. It came with traders, travelers, people who had been known and familiar to Kerala for centuries before, before the Prophet and who brought the news as good news from their country. Now, that kind of experience gives us a different history and a different view of history. So I think that there is not at all a bad idea that states should be encouraged to do what they think is best for their own populations. So, Gujarat riots, Gandhi assassination, Darwin's theory of evolution, Mughal history, these are some of the topics that the state will be reintroducing. Um, so the, these topics particular, I mean, that is what the contention is all about. No, I mean, look, I've, 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 I've written about this. I'm not going to specifically cherry pick particular topics. It is not, I believe, not an exercise in pointing to a particular a political cause or whatever. The idea is simply to show our young children all the major events of our time. No one can claim that the 2002 Gujarat riots were not a major cataclysm in our country at that particular period. No one can claim that the 84 riots against Sikhs were not important. No one can claim that Darwin's theory of evolution has not shaped much of modern understanding of, of human biology and of, 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 uh, of science. These are all parts of the basic equipment that children should have. Similarly, in mathematics, Pythagoras' theorem was cut out. That couldn't be political. That is just, frankly, inept because you can't possibly have children going past class 8 without knowing Pythagoras' theorem. So these are very simple uh, issues that state government has said, we're not going to delete it, we want everything back that used to be there, and we leave it to the teachers and the students to gain what they can from the larger amount of material. I truly think it's a right decision, I applaud it. Acronization of textbooks is what uh, the left front as well as even Congress has said several times. So do you think that uh, this is a step uh, in the right direction? It is, but as I said, you know, I, I really don't want it to be about politics. I would say that, um, you know, Pythagoras didn't have any saffron color or, or, or didn't have any other color either. The fact is that there are some omissions which had nothing to do with politics. There are some omissions, particularly when it comes to history and, and politics, and even civics, the uh, democracy chapter and so on, where it appears as if a certain political agenda may have influenced the decision. But the best way to avoid such suspicions and such controversies is to just put it all back in. So that's why I support the decision. Just one last question. BJP is saying that the state government is introducing this right now basically to divert attention from the recent controversies. Look, unfortunately our politics and our political discourse in India, everywhere, has reached a point where there will be controversies every other day. I don't think that a large major issue like educating children we should be governed by the political passions of the moment. I think we should have a wide canvas, take a broad perspective, and help our children to acquire the greatest possible depth and breadth of knowledge. In that spirit, 
I'm not anchoring my comments on politics. And I think um, one controversy or the other, controversies will come and go. What is important is that children emerge from our school system with a sense of being educated, with having a wide view. Then they can have their own views on what they've learned. But they should be exposed to everything.